Whisk up, whisk up, whisk up, whisk up, whisk up. <laughs> whisk up, sunsees, whisk up. This your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is, sunsees, for this message to resonate. Sunsee, just please make sure you're using discernment, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Alrighty? <laughs> be mindful, sunsee. This could be past, present, or future, okay? I came on here and gave you guys a quick reading. Let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, divine, my ancestors of the highest white light. My spirit guides, my holy angel. Archangel Michael, please protect me while I channel the energies for my collective sun seeds. Anything other than the highest white light, please close, shut, and block that door. Please and thank you. Holy Spirit, what is the current energy for my collective sun seeds at this time? What is the most important messages they need to hear? Thank you. So we have divine masculine first caught out. Poverty. Astral travel. Watching. Oof. So this person could be trying to astral travel towards you, um, to you, sussies. Okay. Yeah, this person could be trying to spy, um, spy on you. Through the dream state for some of you guys also in the 3d as well opportunists and letting go what's going on here got some seeds somebody don't want you to let them go this person is trying to ask your child somebody is also trying to i'm hearing like somebody is trying to um say you telepathic communication through the you know through your dream state Downloads. Give me more Holy Spirit. What's this energy? Thank you. We have options. So this divine masculine feels like you have options. You have choices. Breaking generational curses. So you could be the black sheep of your family. You could be the healer. Someone who's very strong in the spirit. Um, this person sees you as real strong. I'm getting like royal bloodline. First millionaire in the family, legacy. Yeah, somebody, uh, somebody is seeing you do these great things. And they see um, you being in this energy of taking action. Mm-hmm. There's somebody fantasizing about you. Yeah, soul tribe. This person feels connected to you. They feel like you guys share similar values and beliefs. This person feels like you understand them. You just resonate with them better, Sunseeds. This is someone who realizes they're supposed to be on a spiritual journey with you. It's like somebody's understanding that you guys belong together, like the oneness. So you or your divine masculine could have had options, you know, people that wanted to link, you know, attach to you guys, um, you know, for what, for what you guys have, very opportunist, you know, for what they can get. You could be a, um, like psychic or have these strong, um, have this, you know, this strong intuition when it comes to the unknown. Like, you just know certain things. Give me one more Holy Spirit. Yeah. Guardian Angel and Pluto. So, you can have Scorpio in your Pluto. Um, the death of rebirth, renewal, change, discovering a core power, transformation. The rise of Phoenix, Guardian Angel. Your Guardian Angel is helping you um, and is here assisting you with this change. I feel like um, there's a guardian angel that protects you and your divine masculine, okay? I feel like they're assisting both of you guys with this change at this time. You guys are supposed to work together to break some type of generational um, curse, some type of um, generational curse in um, your bloodline. Mm. Somebody, um, energy vampire, Sagittarius. Somebody could be realizing that somebody is an energy vampire. Okay. Somebody could be deciding to like just stay in solitude, focus on themselves right now. 
Okay. Yeah, somebody don't trust someone. But there's an energy that's here that's coming in, okay? Um, Spirit is saying you're going to have a lot of options, okay? But there's a divine masculine that's here. Somebody who's meant is supposed to be on your soul, um, supposed to be a part of your soul tribe that's supposed to be on the journey with you, helping you break um, generational curses. I feel like you already took an action towards this. Yeah. Give me more of this divine masculine Holy Spirit. Spirit said, hell yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a, Spirit said, that's a damn truth. Hell yeah. Spirit said, a strong yes. This person is supposed to be on this path with you. Okay. Manifest, shock, confirmation, intuition. Somebody could be having like a realization. Okay, somebody could be realizing that they're supposed to be on this path with you. Yeah. Watching this soulmate. Yeah, whoever this soulmate is, they realizing that they're supposed to be on this path with you. Okay, happiness. Magic. Use your magic gift. Creative magic is within an alignment. So whoever this person, alignment and blessings. Nice. So whoever this soulmate is that's coming in, that's a part of your soul tribe. This is somebody that's coming in that you're going to work with and, and build with. This is beautiful, Sunseeds. This is beautiful. Maybe it's someone that you uh, could be walking away from. You or, or this divine masculine. Because somebody um, that was an energy vampire, you, just, you, didn't, you didn't trust. You know? Like, yeah, to get on this path, like, all the leeches and energy vampires, they must go. What's this option? Option. Thank you, spirit. Responsibility. Now, somebody could have a lot of responsibility. They could be connected to a lot of things. Maybe a lot of people got the hand out. A lot of people want this and this from this person. Yeah, somebody is realizing it's time for them to get their shit together. Mm-hmm. They weighing out the pros and the cons. Somebody is just like, it's erasing people out their life. Like, nope, this person's an energy vampire. Oh, you are opportunist. You got to go. It's like, somebody is like, whoever this divine masculine is, they they are now, somebody is now putting the work. Like, they just like letting go of what no longer serves. Somebody is getting ready for their calling, for their path. Yeah, spirits. Give me more breaking generational curses. Maybe this, yeah, guilty and learn the lesson. Yeah, somebody, um, this person, um, maybe this person had to go through a lot of lessons and if, you know, until they learned it and if they didn't, they just kept repeating the same cycle. Okay. Somebody feels guilty, um, for lying to you or some, something that they did. This person feels guilty about it. This person, um, this person could have lied to you. Yeah, you could have found, look deeply, secrets. You could have found out about some secrets about this person. Somebody could have found out something through a family. What's this guilty? Health. Pay attention to your health, physical or mental health. What's this health? Jail. Okay, so somebody uh, somebody could be in uh, somebody could be feeling uh, somebody could be under judgment or in jail. This could be uh, spiritual jail or jail in a 3D and somebody could be going through it. Okay. Somebody is realizing that, you know, they should have treated you better. They should have, you know, um, you know, they should have just did right by you. Somebody is learning some type of lesson with this Pluto. There's some type of transformation. It's like somebody is now got, 
is um, now somebody is trying to um, get it together. Somebody doesn't want to repeat a lesson. They getting it together. Yeah. So they could get on this path. What's the soul tribe? Somebody love how authentic you are. How real you are. How down to earth you are. What's the soul tribe? Yeah. Um, this person feel like you keep it to yourself at this time. Okay. Somebody feels like you're moving in silence. When you was once someone where they could, you know, um, talk to and, um, you know, get, get your advice. You know, you know, you just knew the right words to say to this person who was going through a lot. But now you're not saying a damn thing. You could have found out about a third family, yes. Could have been a family member. Somebody could have been gossiping, trying to get in this person's ear. Somebody could have been watching you. Somebody could have been sending somebody to watch you. Do they family? Abundance. Give me another card of the soul tribe. Yeah, vacation. Somebody could be telling somebody that you're getting away. You went on vacation. Time for some fun, babe. Travel. Rest and relaxation. Maybe you got away. You went on vacation. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be talking. Oh, you know, such and such went on vacation with their divine masculine. Oh, you know, they went here. This person is doing real well. They changed it. They do. Like, somebody is like, what? Yeah, abundance and intuition and happiness. Somebody like, what? And you relocated. You moved on. You moved Maybe you bought a new house, you you know, you thinking about it or whatever you add, you you just you happy. Yeah. What's this Pluto Pluto and uh I said Pluto. My name could be Pluto. <laughs> What's this Pluto and um guardian angel? Yeah, you're very enlightened. Very much protected as well. Guardian Angel is showing up. What's this Pluto and Guardian Angel? So we have yes. Self-care. So maybe you took yourself out. You out here working your magic. Okay. So cleanse. Uh, spiritual cleanse. Bath or sage is needed. And competition. So somebody. Spirit is saying protect your energy. Because somebody is trying to send you to Iwa. Or some type of negative energy, you know, your way. Spirit is saying, cleanse, cleanse yourself and transmute that energy into something, you know, positive. Okay? Which I see you doing out here. Okay? And somebody don't like it. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, whatever energy, uh-uh. Whatever energy they send in your way, transmute it into something you know, positive, okay? And I see you doing that. You breaking generational curses. You out here and you're calling, okay? And somebody is feeling some type of way about a breakup. Yeah. Whoever this person is, spirit is saying, Ooh. somebody just don't know when something is over with. What is this? Yeah, some black magic and sex. Yeah, a liar. Mm -mm. Somebody realizing that somebody was an energy vampire. They getting the hell away. They said, I'm going right now. Yeah, seven of pentacles, eight of wands. Let's see. Give me more on the divine masculine energy. Letting go 3D. Yeah, somebody's letting go of 3Ds. Uh, that um, unhealthy ego, somebody, if this pre person had a street mentality, this is somebody who doesn't, they, somebody is thinking different now. If they had any bad habits or it was low vibration, they let go now. Akashi records, opportunists, new love. Somebody was trying to tap into your Akashi records. Hmm.
that energy vampire. Somebody could have been dealing with like a, a warlock. Somebody could have been trying to do magic or astral travel with someone to, to like stop somebody. Somebody knows that somebody has, they're supposed to be on a path with a divine masculine. They know that. Somebody didn't want, whoever this opportunity is, the opportunist is, they didn't want to be letting go of. Because they knew that you was going to be on a path with your person. Yeah, Mars and sex addiction, Scorpio. Somebody was trying to keep you attached to you through sex magic. They knew that you did. They knew that, yeah, the sun card, ace of cups. I can't make it up. Black magic, karmic partner. Somebody knew that you had a new love coming in. Somebody was trying to do black magic, a karmic partner. Something getting exposed. The vine is exposing this person. Yeah, they about to get karma. Wow. Damn, somebody did not want to let you go. Somebody like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Somebody was trying to do magic to keep somebody stuck. Okay? They didn't want to see them on this path. Whoever this karmic partner is, they didn't want to see this masculine on this path. Nope. Gemini, Aquarius, and lovers. Gemini here twice. Something could be significant about the last moon that we had, the 27th. And Gemini, somebody is realizing that somebody could have been possibly wearing a mask. Okay. Maybe somebody is realizing that they don't know somebody how... how how they thought they knew them. Somebody could have did magic or somebody connection. Y'all. Somebody possibly could have been, um, could have got married. Somebody could have did not want to give up the 3D life for this commitment, this, this connection. Ace of Fire for something new, which was the Jupiter. Wow. Yeah, somebody could have been wanting to keep their options open. But now somebody is realizing that they're supposed to, you know, be on this path. Yeah, for options is clarified with the floodgate. Somebody's going to have so many options when it comes to abundance, prosperity, whatever support they need when it comes to success. Anything. It's going to be like so much like blessings and, and, and wishes being granted. And somebody knows that. Somebody knows that. So they try to come in. A karmic partner didn't want to let somebody go. I keep seeing this opportunist. Karmic. Karmic storm. Somebody is, ooh, spirit is like, no. Yeah. Somebody wanted to still, yeah, spiritual, spiritual gifts, divine union. This is a union, a very divine union. Somebody knew of that. Yeah. Somebody was watching this chosen one. They knew what was coming in. And somebody wanted to come in and be in an energy vampire. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy as well. Somebody know that there's a, um, a divine union. Two very spiritually gifted people that's supposed to be on the same, um, same tribe, same um, path together. Yeah, power couple. They yin and you they yang. Like two couples that's awakening. Somebody was trying to hold somebody back to stay in this 3D, low vibrational, goddamn energy. Somebody didn't want somebody to have this connection with you. Something was supposed to happen around the full moon, November 27th. Because we have Gemini, we have lovers, okay? And this, can, this is definitely a Gemini because the lovers is a Gemini card. And then you got the Gemini card that came out. So you could be a Gemini. Take it how it resonates. But something, and I know we just had a full moon November 27th. 
um, in Gemini. Somebody could have switched up on you. Somebody could have changed up on you. It's like this person changed and they didn't. It's like you, you do like, what the hell? I thought everything, like something just changed. You know, silence, confirmation. Somebody could have been lying to you about a third party. Yeah. They could have been definitely lying. We got the, um, we got Leo, Divine Feminine. So whoever you are, warm, passionate, loyal. Here you go, Divine Feminine, the moon card with the secrets. Yeah, somebody was trying to keep something a secret. Something happened, like, like suddenly, something just changed. It's like somebody switched up on you, Devon, from out of nowhere. Somebody was wearing, like, a mask or something. Yeah, I feel like this person is just, is about to be um, spiritually judged. What's this? Um, what's this cleanse? Somebody was lying. Yeah, Aries, and we have Scorpio energy out here. You might need to cleanse your energy because somebody is. Uh, yeah, somebody, mm -hmm. somebody didn't want to see you move, like you get, somebody didn't want to see you persevere through something. What's this Aries and Scorpio? Something could have happened in Scorpio season. Something could have came to an end. We have Virgo. Yeah, Wounded Warrior. It's like somebody wanted to just drain somebody of all their energy so they could be stuck. Yeah, solitude, Taurus. Yeah, somebody was, was trying to tap into somebody at Kashi Records to find out what the hell, like, they wanted to know what was going on. Sagittarius, Venus. Yeah, they want healer. Somebody wanted to be all in this healer's business. Yeah, somebody wanted what you had. I'm telling you. Divine feminine, divine masculine with the healer. Yeah, communication. You're going to receive some type of unexpected communication from your divine counterpart. Queen of Earth and Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's the damn truth. Somebody going to be letting you know how they want to move forward. Akashi Records, Queen of Cups. Somebody's going to be letting you know how they want to move forward and take things to the next level. Somebody's finding out that a third party was a karmic partner. Mm -hmm. What's this communication? Do you, boo? Period. So Spirit is saying, whatever this communication that's coming in, Okay, you could be expecting some type of good news. Maybe you was waiting on some type of uh, for something to come through. Ooh. Abusive? Somebody could have been very abusive mentally. Okay, to someone. Somebody could have been a spiritual bully. Like, somebody was like, yeah, lovers, abusive and lovers. It's like, somebody, ooh, it's giving me, like, damn, somebody knew that there was a karmic in your life. Your life or the divine mass, they knew that, and they knew you had great things ahead of you. Yep, they did. Somebody wanted to prevent you from being with your lover that you're supposed to be um, built. A divine union with. Yeah. It's giving me like. I heard soulmates and twin flames at war. 
Yeah, something could have been going on for a year now. Soulmates, Twin Flames, and Karmic Partners. You got all these people fighting over you. Surprised and shook? What the hell? You got all these people fighting over you. Let it go. Friends. Danger. Yeah, somebody letting all these people go. Like, these 3D superficial people that just, like, somebody is letting it go. Yeah. Somebody don't trust these energies. Somebody could have did sex magic to get to get someone pregnant. Ugh, yeah, for finances, a level up. Somebody was delusional. Somebody could be now listening to their intuition. Somebody could have did magic for um. You know what? Somebody could have did magic to have somebody's child for finances. What's the black magic and sex? Will of Fortune. The star card, high priestess, knight of swords, eight of cups. Yes. If they did, somebody woke the hell up. They listened to their intuition. Somebody woke the hell up. Yeah, somebody healed from something that happened. Okay. And somebody left. Somebody's angry about that. Yeah, somebody's angry because somebody chose to walk away and let it and and, and, and let it be what it is. We got the justice card. Yes, you're about to get karmic justice. What's this energy, Holy Spirit? Period. Empress. Period. And you fell out just like that on you. Divine feminine. Somebody was trying to like... I feel like this is like a spiritual bully. Like whoever this person is, they can... You're, there's a person that you're supposed to be on a divine path with, Right? And I feel like your person, your actual person is awakening up to that now. There's a karmic partner that don't want to either let you go or is your person that's dealing with a karmic. Take it how it resonates. Somebody knows that somebody is supposed to be on this path with you and they're trying to do everything that they could to try to prevent that. But I feel like whoever this person is, they know, they, they, when it comes to the Kashi records and the astral travel and all that, this person knows something. Okay, but this is somebody who abuses the, this is a spiritual bully. Somebody is trying to prevent somebody from moving forward to keep them stuck. Ace of Swords, come through, spirit. Before I even knew what the call was, I know what I'm feeling. Somebody, spiritually, that's a damn truth. Somebody knows the truth about it. Empress. Look, Ace of Cups under the bottom. Look at that. The strength card, but look, Emperor. Somebody knows that. Somebody knows that. And they mad. They mad because you walked away and you healed and you listened to your intuition. Somebody is angry. You're getting justice now. Yes. Yeah, Ace of Cups of the Town. Somebody mad as hell. Yeah, somebody is thinking. Ooh. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. This is somebody that, uh-uh. they like, whew. Yeah, five of wands. The queen of cups. You're no longer giving to the, the situation anymore. Mm-hmm. You pulled your energy back and you're letting go. This is somebody who caused conflict in your life. Okay. It's giving me like somebody made you feel... Always made you feel some type of way. And it wasn't a good feel some type of way. Like, your guardian angel is like, mm -mm, something is better. You meeting your soul tribe. Ace of Wands, I can't make it up. Mm, mm, talk some spirit. Yeah, you about to get a whole new passion beginning. Somebody was trying to hold you back to keep you in this low vibrational energy. And they ain't care how they had to do it. They was going to do it. Yeah, seven swords. They ain't care how they was going to lie, steal, do whatever. Page of wands. 
Somebody seen you as good news. They wanted what you had. And they knew that you had something beautiful coming in that's coming in for you. And they wanted to take that. Three of Cups, Celebration, Judgment, the Moon card. Somebody could not stand to see you celebrating and being happy. I also feel like somebody is waking up to some type of illusion. Ten of Cups, the Five of Cups. It could be a family dynamic, but somebody is in regret for doing this. What's the um, judgment? Thank you, Spirit. Two of Cups. What's the Moon card? It's like somebody wanted to hide this love, this love connection. They, you know, somebody was going to... What's the Moon? Yeah, Four of Wands. Somebody was trying to hide a marriage, hide a union. Somebody was hiding something from a third party. About a third party. What's the three of cups? Shirt card. You having the willpower to be strong to overcome something. You had to, you had to, what's the, um, listen to your intuition about something. You had to be strong about something. What's the, um, the three of cups of strength? What did you have to be strong? Yeah, three of swords. Yeah, you had to be strong about something. Possibly a third party you found out. The higher friends to the world card. You could have been married to this person and called it off. Yeah, it's like somebody wanted somebody wanted the benefits of somebody, but they wanted to hide them. What the hell? I don't know. Seven of I can't make it up. Seven of cups, knight of cups, seven of pinnacles. This was nothing but a red flag. Seven of cups, knight of cups, seven of pinnacles. Yeah, somebody was gonna come in and try to confuse somebody with a love. Or it's like somebody wanted the benefits, but they was gonna hide the whole goddamn thing. The higher friend to the fool. Yeah, they was gonna they wanted to hide it. And they wanted to still be low vibrational. This is somebody who wanted who, who wanted to reap the benefits but didn't want to heal. Yeah, what's that? Yeah. Will of Fortune, the Star Card High Priest. It's like somebody wanted somebody realized that somebody wanted to go where you was going, but damn, they didn't want to heal. What's the Will of Fortune? Two of Pentacles. 11 11 could be some nigga fit. What's the two of pentacles? Queen of Pentacles. They wanted you to, they, they felt like working with you, be able to balance things out. Somebody see you as doing well. The hangman. What's the hangman? Pisces energy. Ten of Swords. Oh, four of cups. Ten of Wands, a magician. Somebody could have been trying to sacrifice somebody. The lovers. To keep them stuck. They were going to try to keep them stuck. And I'm telling you, eight of swords. They were trying to keep them stuck. Queen of swords, that's the truth. Somebody was an energy vampire. And they would, the way how they was doing, they would do sex magic to keep somebody stuck. Somebody wanted... Oh, shit. Somebody realizing that something was nothing but an illusion. Oh, yeah. Somebody was trying to stand in the way for, you know, um, two divine partners to be on this, you know, journey together. Somebody was like, no. And being that this person knew, they said, you know what, I'm going to try to stop it to prevent it. So if everything was okay. If everything was going um, all right with you and your person, right? Everything is going all right. Okay, with well, you and your person, this is gonna be for one or two of you guys, right? Everything was going good. Then out of nowhere, this person just switched up on you. Yeah, somebody was doing magic with this person. Uh huh. That's why they switched up on you like that. And you know what sucks because. They switched up on a on a on a counterpart. You know, it's like, damn. 
Yeah, Queen of Swords to the three, uh, 3D. This person had low vibrational bad habits. It's probably like a damn suck your best get close enough. There's somebody that has a keep the options open. There's somebody who they may make you made you feel like you was the only one, but somebody was trying to keep something a secret. Uh-uh. Somebody wanted to reap the benefits. Don't you? It's going to be different for all you guys. Take what resonates, sun seeds, and leave the rest behind. But whoever this person is, they getting caught up. Okay? Somebody could be a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cuss, or Sagittarius. Let's get you guys some, um, give me some, um, some signs, Holy Spirit, before we close this out. Please and thank you. We have Scorpio. Mm, yes. I've seen that twice in here. Have you on the Scorpio? What's this? Taurus. So somebody can have Scorpio, Taurus in the chart. It was heavy on the Taurus as well in there too. Something is coming to an end. This person is like, it's giving me like a spiritual bully. Mm-hmm. Somebody know that somebody has a, a a divine counterpart that's supposed to be on somebody's path. Like somebody, uh, yeah, Venus. This is somebody's. This is somebody's Venus. This is who they're coming to bring a love offer to, and somebody is trying to stop that. Yeah, somebody realized that you're a Venus. Divine feminine. Divine masculine. We have Libra and we have Capricorn. Capricorn here twice. Virgo, Gemini. Yeah, somebody is realizing that. Anything else? One or two more signs, Holy Spirit. Scorpio again. Heavy on the Scorpio. Fire. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Gemini, Aquarius, Jupiter. Something that's supposed to be, somebody realized that somebody is they Venus. They in love with. They know that that person is who they supposed to be on this, this journey with. Who's a part of their soul tribe. Who they supposed to have this, you know, this power couple with someone who who with that with that hang man we just kept seeing was like somebody is seeing the bigger picture now, seeing things from a higher perspective. And somebody is realizing why something was so stagnated is because they were supposed to get on this path with with you. That can create this, you know, this ten of pentacles, this this legacy wealth, this abundance. Where it's going to bring in peace, love, security, joy. Some of you guys may have to relocate because something is very intense. We got Leo under the bottom. And we got water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius. Somebody didn't like the fact that two people, you know, Jupiter. This is maybe so that's the truth. Something that's gonna be somebody that's they wanna see somebody, you know, getting their wishes. Two people who's the who's on assignment to create generational curses. Not only for both of their bloodline, but to create a new bloodline, you know, for the for the ones that come after them. And people knew that. Three of, um, three of Wands. King of Swords. That's the truth. Somebody to take action. Ace of Pentacles. For a new beginning. Ten of Pentacles. The Shrimp card. Eight of Swords. The Hangman. The Sun card. Somebody wanted to keep somebody stuck and trapped. 
somebody didn't want to see somebody move forward. Yeah, they didn't. The three of Wands, the Queen of Cups. They didn't want somebody. Ace of Cups. Damn, somebody that was trying to. Yeah, somebody. Somebody knows that somebody's new love is their um, counterpart. And whoever they walking away from and letting them go, they're not their counterpart. They're not. So they were trying to keep do magic on them to keep the person stuck. Because somebody is going towards their new counterpart. Now, for ones who don't even know this person, this is what your person is going, going through before you even meet this person. It's like everything being cleared out so you guys can have a clean slate. Others of you guys who you might be familiar with this person already, somebody is getting rid of a karmic. And this karmic, whoever this karmic is, they know that this person is supposed to be on this path. So what they were trying to do was trying to prevent this person from coming towards you. Ooh. Ooh, I love you guys so very much, Sunseeds. I hope this reading was able to help you guys, give you guys clarity in your situation. It's going to be different for all you guys. Take it how it resonates. Just know you're about to get karmic justice. Okay? Uh, Angel Mike was here. Okay? Cycles are being closed out for new beginnings because you guys have are evolving and elevating, and it's just time to go. You know, you got things to do. Somebody's understanding the assignment. And there, you know, of course, they say new levels, new, you know. So it was a karmic out here trying to not let this person get away because somebody knows that somebody got things to do with a person who they're supposed to build. Um, had his divine union with. And that third party could be anybody because we've seen third party and family. This could be somebody got their family member. That was the third party that was trying to do this. You know what? Ooh, yeah. I love you guys so far, but I'm hearing everybody involved. Okay, everybody involved getting karma. Now you got to put yourself where you, you know, on, on, on where you at in this. Now you know your intentions was good and you did right, then you on the good side of karma. Whoever whoever this person that was working with these people, knowing that these people was doing magic on you, oh yeah. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, for a long time, slow, slow, like somebody was trying to just take somebody the hell out. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to get their karma. I love you, Sunsteeds, until we get up next time. Later.